Hi everyone, my name's Cheryl Hurst. I'm the Stamping Up Demonstrator here in Sydney, Australia. How are you today? Okay, as I said, I'll show you something else from the Inked and Tile Bundle. I'm only using the stamp set today. I'm using this flower and happy birthday. And I'm going to make a box and a gift box. Also, I'm going to be using this and this is called Lasting Label Punch. Very vanilla. I'm going to stick with the um, classic matte dots still. Tear and tape. I'm going to be using um, Lost Lagoon. And it's, um, it's a border ribbon. It's absolutely beautiful. You can see it here. Hang on, let's focus. It's absolutely beautiful ribbon. Okay, that's for the box. Stamp and seal. Bone folder. Snips. Dimensionals. Some of the DSP from the botanicals. And I'm using 12 by 12. You can see here. And this the subtles okay 12 by 12 variety pack so you get two sheets of each color in it and also i'll be using calypso coral because that's calypso coral and lost lagoon so first of all we get out our simply scoring tool make sure it's flat Okay, and we're just going to put it in here and I'm going to do it in inches today because it's easier because it's inches here so what I'm going to do just make sure it's flat okay and I'm going to score on the whole four sides at four inches okay, just four inches score. I like this one because it fits my candles in this size. So there you are. That's all you need to do for that. And now we've got this 6x6 six six, and this is going to be the top. So what I want you to do, see how I'll bring this up closer so you can see. I'm not going to put it right in the corner. I'm just going to leave a little bit out. Okay, just right to the edge. So it's probably an eighth of an inch I'm leaving out. Okay, and I'm scoring it then at one inch. One inch. All the way there. We want this a little bit tighter for the lid. Okay. So we've done that and now we can put this tool away and now we get our snips oh no sorry get our bone folder out first what have i done with it okay so now we're just going to crease we have nice creases on the whole four sides Okay, so that's done. Now we will just do it the same on this. We'll bring that in, crease, fold, nice firm crease, fold, nice firm crease, and the last one. These are very easy boxes, okay, to make. You can do it all different sizes, but this is the one I like for my candle. So now I'm just going to get the scissors, and can you see on the crease line? I'm going to cut it, cut along there, okay, and then I'm going to cut it in half. 
so and then I'm just going to cut a little wedge out on either side okay, just to make it easier for it to fit in okay, and just turn it around and doing the same thing cut it there cut it in half wedge wedge okay turn it around and cut it in half roughly wedge and wedge and then move it around again And we're going to do a wedge and wedge. Okay, so now we're just going to fold it over and we're going to get the tear and tape and we're just going to put tear and tape sorry, along here. I like to do it too just to get it, keep it firm. You can use um, Seal Plus if you want, but I, I just like using this. Okay, and now on this one, we do the same. Let's move that over, and we use the little snips just all on the seam there and we just wedge turn it around and wedge turn it wedge wedge turn it around wedge wedge okay now I can put all those scraps in the bin and keep tidy as I go otherwise I'll stick it all everywhere okay now I'm just going to use a little bit of tear and tape and I'll just put it in there oops that come off stuck to my finger There, we've got that, and now I've got the the, the pick tool and just pull the backing off. Oops, that's coming off with the stick. There. Let's make sure it's stuck down tight. Okay, so what we're going to do is fold that in and going to meet it into the corner there. Fold it in and meet it in the corner. Fold it in, we'll just turn it up and meet it in the corner. Fold it in and meet it in the corner. So we've got the top of the box there. So now we'll get this part. Make sure I just put that and fold it over make sure we don't have any problems and we just pull all the strips up
and I'm just going to line it up. Line it up. Line it up. And line it up. And we've got the box. And we've got the lid. It's perfect. Let's get rid of all these backings. Now, we've got the ribbon. So, just cut a length of desire. I don't sort of measure it, I just do it. I think I need, and then you just trim the rest off. So, then you just you put your gift inside. Trim that bow how you want. The rings. Okay, so we've got that done. Now we'll bring in the slip pads and we'll get the punch out. So, as I said, lasting labels. Just punch one out. And um, yes, I need my scrap mat and I'll ink the flower up, putting it here so you can see, stamping off and then just doing the second generation for that one, that's Lost Lagoon and now Clips out Coral, his happy birthday. There. Okay, have it. Let's just get the mat dots. And I think I'll just place three little ones down the bottom here. As I showed you on Wednesday, you can colour them if you want. I'm just not worrying about it at the moment. But you can colour them in Lost Lagoon or you can do it in um, Calypso Coral. And I'll just then turn it over and put four dimensionals on. Take the backings off. These are tough. Tough paper on these things. I've been having trouble all week with this, these dimensionals. I've never had trouble with it before. It's just a bit thicker paper. And you put it where you desire. I'm just going to put it here. And there you are. There's the box. Gift box. Very easy. And, um, Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. First, well, before I sign off, I just wanted to show you a couple of more cards that I made with this suite of products. So I've got the thing. I made this one, that, and that one as well. So thank you very much, and um, I hope you um, enjoyed the video. As I said, and if you need a a catalogue and you live in Australia please hit me up all the information is down in the um, description part also my shop and all my links and I'd love for you to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and also subscribe if you haven't already I appreciate it so thank you very much and I'll see you next week see you later bye